does Donating Blood, the Six Foot Track Marathon, uh, Kung Fu Grading and a Six Week Challenge have in common? Me! You're watching the Iron Wheel Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multi-sport and endurance events and training. So this week and weekend, haven't really been doing that much training. Um, I have been doing some of my gym training. I'm doing a six week challenge sort of thing. So I've got a certain amount of gym exercises and that sort of thing, which I do every week at the moment. Um, this weekend, I went to this morning, uh, there was a Kung Fu grading. So I went and watched that and participated in Kung Fu uh, this morning. Didn't do too much because also this weekend decided I was going to donate blood. So here's me earlier this morning talking about that. Uh, so now finished up with Kung Fu and heading on my way to donate blood. Uh, definitely a good thing to do if you can is to donate blood or plasma or platelets or whatever you can um, at the blood donation centers all over Australia, the Red Cross. Um, yeah, really good thing to do. Of course, since uh, I get tattoos every now and again, you can't donate within four months of getting a tattoo. So that's a little annoying. The process of donating blood or plasma is pretty simple. They stick a needle in your arm and you sit there for half an hour. And it's your birthday soon. Ah, uh, yeah, in a couple of weeks. Look away now if you're squeamish. Well, that was nice and easy and so much quicker. Normally I do uh, plasma donations. So they take the blood out, they spin it around in a centrifuge, uh, then they extract the plasma, then they put the blood back in, and they do that a couple of times. Uh, but this, it was just literally just taking the blood straight out of me and into a bag. So much, much quicker. I think I was done in maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes max. Um, or at least felt like it was 10, 15 minutes. The only problem with donating blood as opposed to plasma is that you can't donate as often. So blood you can donate, I think it's once every four weeks or something like that. Whereas plasma is once every two weeks. Which is why I tended to donate more plasma in the past. And why I'll probably keep donating plasma in the future. And for the next few hours, I've got to keep this bandage on my arm. Obviously I don't want my vein that they took the blood out of popping back open and bleeding everywhere, which I have taken it off too soon before. And yes, that has happened. So I keep it on for at least the next four, maybe five hours at least. No heavy lifting, um, no strenuous exercise. You know, you don't want it popping back open. So just as clarification, I just had a look. It's about actually three months. If you donate blood, you're not allowed to donate blood again, whole blood for about three months, but after donating whole blood, you would only need to wait four weeks and then you can donate plasma. And unlike in America, where I think you get paid for donating blood, over here, no you don't. It's a volunteer thing, 100% volunteer, so they need as many volunteers as possible. And there's a lot of criteria which stops people from donating, so if you can donate blood, please do. Or plasma or platelets or whatever. Another thing that happened this week was that the incredibly popular six foot track marathon uh, went up for grabs. So it went on sale so you could purchase an entry into it. Now there are two types of entry into the six foot track marathon. There is the priority entry, say for instance, if you've come within the top X percent of the previous one or you've had to pull out of the previous one or something there's certain conditions where you can get a priority entry which is like a guaranteed entry into the six foot track marathon uh, the other way you get in is by just signing yourself up to the general ballot so you go into a big sort of lucky dip you enter your name and hope for the best that you can actually do it um, and that was on I think it was by Monday that you had to sign up. 
and then you enter your name into the ballot and then they draw it on the Wednesday, I think it was. Luckily for me, I was offered a spot. So when my that email came through saying, congratulations, you have been successful. Would you like to take up the place uh, to do the six foot track marathon? I said, yes, of course. Uh, so the six foot track marathon, it's a run that goes through the Blue Mountains here, just west of Sydney in New South Wales in Australia. Uh, and it's a off it's trail run so you go you do have to like run through a couple of creeks and along some trails and stairs and all sorts of things through the Blue Mountain. You finish up at the Janolan Caves which is a very popular place to go and see caves. Um, Janolan Caves. Uh, I went there quite a few times when I was a kid uh, so my primary school took me to Janolan Caves a couple of times for the school camp um, just to go and see the caves and see the stalagmites and stalactites and all of that sort of thing. Really great place if you ever get a chance to go to Janolan Caves. Um, and it's a 45 kilometer run through this area. But apparently, given the terrain, it feels more like 60 kilometers. So that'll be fun. That'll be great fun. Still got to determine uh, what footwear I'm going to be wearing for the event. I've been wearing a lot of minimalist uh, running shoes lately, so running in literally Kung Fu slippers um, or Vibram Five Fingers as I did for the Half Iron Man. So do I wear Vibram Five Fingers for this event or given the rocky terrain, should I go something a bit more padding? I don't know. Uh, I'm, it'll depend on the practice that I do over the next few months. Um, to determine whether or not I would be okay running in minimalist shoes over potentially rocky and sharp sort of objects. And the event is in March, uh, so I've got a few months over the summer to train for it. But all of that training can start next week. After all, I did lose a bit of blood today at the blood donation, so my evening is going to be very relaxed tonight. And also in regards to the six foot track marathon, uh, signing up for it. In order to sign up for it, you do actually need to uh, qualify for it. So you need to have participated in a qualifying event within an acceptable time limit. Uh, they have, for instance, completing an, uh, a marathon, a regular road marathon in under four hours, 20 minutes, or the marathon leg of an Ironman in less than, I think it's five hours. Um, and so because I did the Sydney Marathon just recently in four hours, five minutes, I was all good. To check out the video I made about the Sydney Marathon earlier this year, I will leave a link up here. If you want swim, bike, run and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.